Hi design darlings, I'm Tanisha Denise Crafter, DIYer and stay at home mommer. And I'm just here today to introduce you to this junk journal that I made using a subscription box. Um, the beginning of the video was outdated. It was originally for a uh, paid membership that I wanted to do, but I decided to change my mind. And I think I'm gonna make all membership completely free. I did, I still do have a paid one on my website, but I may be changing that soon. But nevertheless, the subscription box is just something that's up on Etsy. It's available if you're interested. Um, and you can get a discount, of course, for being a free member. And it has a theme of end of summer, so it's really fun. And uh, it was just a nice experience using the subscription box and journaling with it. Also, the uh, subscription box, because the theme is end of summer, if it's not being used or no one shows any interest in the next couple of weeks, I think, I'll go ahead and take it down and I'll use the supplies for my craft fair coming up in December. All right, well, yeah, I just wanted to introduce the video and you know update the information and make sure that everything is correct. If you are interested in being a free member, just go to my website, designdarlings.club. It's a dot club, not a dot com. And you can find some uh, a freebie there of gratitude journal prompts. So I love making journals and I wanna show you how to use your journal. And then I also want to impart some positivity and stress management techniques using uh, creativity. So that's what my newsletter is about. So if you're interested in that, feel free to sign up. It's completely free. I'm sorry if the, the camera's wiggling. I'm holding the phone. <laughs> I'm just trying to trying to get this out there because I'm in the middle of making crafts and uh, doing some narration. So please excuse me for that. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining and enjoy the video. Show you what's inside. So I just made like a box out of a paper bag. Um, the regular ones would be inside of an actual box, but this is the one that I made for at home. So I hope that you can see this. As you can see, we have some, some supplies here to make a journal. It's pretty exciting. And um, mine doesn't include it, but each one will include a, um, a card that just um, talks about the theme of the subscription box what's inside of it and um just some some whimsical quotes and and uh thoughts and, and sort, sort of poetic thoughts we'll put it like that just something whimsical and fun so what we have here is a good thick stack of tea dye paper and that's in various hues and shades some is darker some is lighter the theme of this subscription box is Summer's End, so it kind of has that theme and has that look to it. So tea dyed paper here. Then we have a nice bolt of fabric, green fabric with some beautiful lace around the edge. It was a kerchief found at the um, thrift store. So I have a couple of those limited. Then um, bolt of fabric with this pretty tea stain um, little message from the, the tea packet that was used to stain the, the um, paper. And some lace and ribbon, about four and a half feet of um, lace and ribbon. And then a bolt of fabric. Let me see if I can tell you about how much fabric is inside of here. Because I didn't measure it but it's enough to definitely make a cover or add some fun embellishments to your book. So let me just kind of unravel it and see. Okay, so that looks to be about three feet by two feet, about three by two feet. And it's really pretty and just really soft and, um, you know, that floral look, but really soft and pretty. It, it just remi it reminds you of summer, but just that soft, end of summer look but there's more to it than that too so also have this beautiful manila folder um so you can use that in your journaling and then inside the folder we have some goodies but before i get to the goodies let me also just show you i have two simple pieces of cardstock paper um no design but in summerish colors with front and back okay 
Now I may put the paper bag in there too, just because the paper bag itself could be used in your journaling. It depends on how you want to get with it. Okay, and then inside of the folder, we have a couple of really fun things. Um, before I can do this, I'm going to have to get the books that some of the stuff came from just to show you. Um, so give me a second. Okay, guys. So I went and got what I needed. I wanted to make sure I was able to show you um, where some of the vintage pages are coming from. So here you have this um what was a photo which was a photo album and it's um just cut into a little pocket that you can attach to your journal and then some journaling cards just a couple just about three journaling cards and just a piece of pattern paper from a daphne's diary so those can be used in your journaling then a wallpaper pocket that is um, just glued together the inside is lined with pattern paper and then these are hand collaged um, these are hand collaged cards and so there's some some um, vintage uh, song paper some vintage um, Spanish poetry and um, just different various doilies and floral patterns and things to make just a fun pretty collage for journaling definitely reminds me of summer definitely looks nice and hot thinking about summer then I made a little file folder with an embellished um, uh, paper clip and that has some lace and some silk on it inside the file folder before I get to those let me get to this this is the tea that used that was used to dye the paper um, so it just has a pretty design so I decided to include it now some of these pages may be slightly different but it'll be the same amount of stuff and then some um, some like cloth paper or handmade paper this is from Dezo and then pattern paper from Dezo and then these are really special these are like washi but they're handmade they're uh, they have napkin de decoupage on it there's five strips. Each strip is maybe just about eight inches long. And there's five of them. So yeah, that, that's really pretty and you can just attach it as you would washi. The file folder like we talked about. And then here's where I wanted to show you a couple of vintage pages. Oh, before we get to that, um, just a, oops, whew, just the old piece of vellum and the edges are just naturally darkened. I didn't even stain this, so this is really old. And then some of the paper that was tea dyed that was kind of broken and destroyed, just put it in there because it could add an interesting texture or be used in some sort of interesting way inside of your journal. Okay, so let's talk about the vintage papers. A couple of vintage papers from a Reader's Digest, a gardening one, so you have some um, color, and then talking about irises, I think this is the pretty much the whole chapter on irises. And you have some, um, some, um, what would you call that? Some instructions on on how to do things like growing an indoor garden in a bottle. Just fun stuff that you can include in in your journaling. And this is um, pretty old. Let me pull the book so that you can take a look at it. It's from this Reader's Digest Illustrated Guide to Gardening nice thick book so I'll have plenty to pull from in this book and let's look at the copyright date I don't know if you'll be able to see it copyright 1978 so fairly old guys I think about 50 years old maybe oh let me actually show it. right there you see it okay I hope that showed up so that's that Oops. and then um, the next type of pages that we have are some vintage hymns these are Christian hymns from a very old book that I got from um, a vintage mall around where I live indoor vintage like in the flea market 
this is the book that it came from so you can see that's extremely old um let's see copyright 1934 so really old paper really beautiful um so, so i used some of this for collaging but i also included some so you can decide what to do with it if you want to add it to your journal or not and then the last piece is just a couple pieces of this really fragile old um, Spanish, um, I, I believe they're poems. That's what I saw online when I was researching the book. And let's see if this has a copyright in it. I don't know if it has a copyright in it, but it was older than like 1930, I think. It might have even been around 1914, but I could be wrong. But it was a while ago when I researched this because I was having some issues about if I wanted to use the books or not. And the point was that I did get them to use them for journaling. So that's what I'm going to do is use them for journaling. So yeah, that's the subscription box. It's, it's great. It definitely has some really beautiful things. Um, and again, the theme is end of summer. And so I hope that you guys are interested and you check out my Etsy for the um, subscription box and then if you want to stay tuned I will put up a video of because I'm going to create a journal using these these uh, the subscription box supplies so if you want to stay tuned you can watch me make that journal or actually you'll need to go to my member website to see the tutorial but you can see the flip through on YouTube okay guys well thank you so much please like and subscribe to my videos i would really appreciate it and also please check me out over at designdarlings.club it's a dot club not a dot com and that's where you'll find um member only tutorials and just other fun things for members it's completely free all i need is an email address from you all righty we'll have a beautiful day bye okay hi guys i'm back my kids are back home so we'll see how this video goes but i'm just going to show you what i ended up making with the subscription box, box supplies so this is the journal and this is the front if you um are in my membership then you saw me put it together and you saw me collaging and it was very difficult i was um really having issues with trying to figure out how to place everything and balance everything but i think i came to a conclusion that i really like um, to me this looks like the end of summer so it went with the theme so I really love it so I placed the fabric on the front um, the green fabric on the spine I did lace in the inside of the book ribbon closure I did some fabric collaging and paper collaging on the front and the back is just plain and I put the um, paper clip embellishment on the front because I thought it looked cuter there um, so these didn't come with the supply kit and this extra lace just right in here didn't come with the supply kit but everything else did then um, along the sides if you can see that I put charms on some of the tabs so the lace that came with the supply kit and um, so that these tab the, the tab laces did too now some of the embellishments didn't but this one did and then the other one's just made out of a paper clip and um, a pearl and a unicorn. So those were things I found myself. And then on the inside, we have a pocket that goes in the top. What's wrong, hello? <laughs> Share the seat, please. Here, just... Okay, so we have a pocket that goes in the top here and in the back we have a pocket that goes in the top too you can see just the collaged piece of paper that I put in the top there that uh, lace along the edges I put a tuck spot here and I tucked one of the collage cards that was left over there um, each page that has a tab on it I put the um, decoupage um, handmade washi and then um, I put all the tea stain book pages, all the tea stain book pages here. And then I tipped in some of the um, Reader's Digest pages just to break it up a little bit. Um, I tipped in some of the collage cards just to give it some interest. Put a pocket here with a um, 
just a plain piece of paper and a um, music note sheet. Let's see. Again with the washi and the tab. Yes, ma'am. The game turns off? Yeah. Okay, wait a second Bye. and I'll restart it. Okay, hopefully, hopefully I cut that part out. I don't know if I did or not. Um, tipped in right there. Some more tea stain paper. Um, put some lace along the edge of that page. Tipped in another collage card. And then I um, glued in some journaling cards there. And tipped in another Reader's Digest paper. So that's pretty much it. I kept it really simple because I think that this is a writing journal and I think that's the style that I want to go for is a simplified junk journal style. Um, not too many pockets and kind of all that jazzy stuff. I just want to keep that to a minimum because I think that the people that I serve, because this is specifically for somebody on my daughter's pulling the tablecloth. Stop now. The people that I serve, they just take it. They probably don't want all that extra stuff. They want somewhere to write with maybe a couple surprises along the way. So that's how I'm going to keep those journals for the people that I actually sell to. And then, you know, if you guys want something special that you want me to do, of course, you just tell me and I'll do it. Hi, design darlings. I'm back. I just wanted to close out the video. I had to end it early because um, my kids started to get angry with me and wanted me to be done with the video. So I went ahead and ended it early. And then also I still had some of that outdated um, information on there. But again, I hope you enjoyed the flip through. I hope you enjoyed looking at the supplies that I used. If you are not a member, just uh, go on over to designdarlings.club. It's a .club, not a .com. And if you go there, you can um, subscribe for free membership, subscribe to the newsletter. You'll get a free download of four weeks of gratitude journal prompts. And then you can also have access to the in-depth tutorials um, for journal making and um, other crafts that, that I'll be showing for my members. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Bye.